The Rectangle is a character that is no stranger to the Poland Ball community. This character is meant to represent the Second German Reich. His catchphrase is Guten Tag, which means good day or good afternoon in German. His design is pretty cute, despite the fact he is a despicable character, so of course I had to make a plushie of him. So the first thing I did was I hopped onto Procreate and I just made a template for um, the plushie. So I just drew out the pieces I needed and how, mit, how many of each piece I would need, so I had an idea of what I was doing. After that, I took the dimensions that I wrote down and measured them out on paper and cut out the pieces. This is pretty anticlimactic, but I ended up with two pieces for the template and that's all I need. Now here's the fun part, tracing out all the patterns and cutting them out. This took about like, um, maybe 30 minutes, it didn't take too long and it was pretty fun cutting them out. I was listening to music while doing this, so it went by pretty quickly. I used pencil and chalk to outline them. I used to use marker, but then it bled on another project and it was a pain getting the marker out. Thankfully, it was washable, so I did get it out, but it was annoying. So I just use pencil and chalk now. I like to give my uh, cutouts seam allowances so that when I sew them together, they're not like uneven. Uh, I don't have a specific measurement for the seam allowance. I just cut maybe like a few centimeters from the tracing and then it's good. And now it's time for the most important fun part and that's putting all the pieces together. So I just uh, put the rectangle pieces good side together and assembled them. There's not much to it. Here's what the project looks like. Uh, this is probably a quarter of progress done. just sewing the remaining sides together. This is my favorite part, and that is flipping the plushie inside out. It's very satisfying and it looks great. Now I just traced um, some eyes and then I'm cutting them into circles because obviously the rectangle needs his eyes. And now probably the most tedious part, uh, stuffing the plushie. I um, like to rip apart the stuffing so that it's smooth and fluffy when it goes inside the plushie. The final step here is just to sew it shut. I didn't get to record this, but after I finished sewing the plushie shut, I just sewed on the eyes. It, it's not very important. You're not really missing much. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the final result. <laughs> so cute. It's like a pillow, but I, I did screw up something here and here. I did screw up at the bottom, but it's fine. It's not noticeable, and it's at the bottom anyway, so no one's gonna really care, but it's still so cute. 
I, I'm probably gonna use this as a pillow for my back on my chair because I have a bad back, but this is so cute. I'm really glad I got to do this project. The outcome was totally worth it. This is so amazing. Wow.